15-year-old soldier is running away, and the captain deliberately didn't hit him. It's like a cat scratching a mouse. They chased soldier Harold all the way. Harold escaped into the woods. The captain wanted to end this with one shot. Harold hid under the tree hole. The machine gun is right over his head. His eyes were full of fear. In this way, he survived by luck. He ran away along the tracks. Harold found a car. He found a coat. There is also a new captain's uniform in the box. After he changed it, except for the longer trousers, the others fit quite well. Harold wiped the dirt off his face. He readily accepted the identity. At this time, soldier Freitag saw him. Think of him as a real captain and applied for him to join Harold's team. Harold started pretending to be a captain. Freitag took the initiative to repair the car. They just went all the way back to safety. In the evening they came to a hotel. He pretended to ask the owner of the hotel for relevant information. He also said that he would compensate owner. For everything, the deserters look away. However, he just wants to eat a free meal. He has to pretend to be calm in front of the hotel owner. He can't finish his meal quickly. At night, the owner caught a deserter who stole something. Owner told Harold to dispose of this soldier, kill or not. If Harold doesn't kill him, Harold might reveal his true identity. Harold made a decisive choice. Harold saw the frightened faces and timid eyes of the people around him. Harold realized he has a huge right. Decide whether a person lives or dies. The next day, they drove on to the next stop. After coming to a village, as soon as they entered the door, they saw the soldiers dancing happy. Harold scolded the soldiers as a captain. The soldiers were fooled by Harold's uniform. Harold checked the soldiers' papers. The soldiers said their troops had been routed. And Harold will continue to make up his lies. He said he had a special mission. He was authorized by the Führer. He is going to set up a task force. Harold included these soldiers in his team. He keeps collecting deserters. If the car runs out of gas, Harold let them pull the cart. At this time, they met the gendarmerie. Harold hurriedly got out of the car. He told the gendarmerie captain that he had received authorization from the Führer. Facing a captain of the same rank, the gendarmerie captain didn't believe him very much. He wants to see Harold's credentials. They came to the camp of the gendarmerie. Unfortunately, Harold met the captain who pursued him. At this time, he still calmly talked with each other. After arriving at the camp, all the deserters are locked up here. The two captains of the camp believed him and let him put in a good word for them in front of the Führer. And Junker, the captain who pursued him, did not question Harold's identity. He took Harold to the deserter's room. At the moment, he looked at these deserters. Harold started interrogating them. Harold is asking them for something. Otherwise, Harold will whip them. Freitau begged Harold not to kill them. But Harold thinks the moment they deserted, their fate has been decided. The deserters stood in the pit. Machine guns were also aimed at them. Their faces are full of despair and innocence. Under Harold's orders, they fell into the pit one by one. There is not a person of other races. They are all compatriots of the same race. The shells are finished. Harold ordered the soldiers to come forward. Harold gritted his teeth and watched all this. The people in the camp can't accept Harold's behavior. They explained that they had to report Harold's behavior to their superiors. And Harold's practice is not in line with the regulations. However, what he did was only to continue his lies. He was also a deserter who was chased. And now he's a captain. All this has just begun. There are still many deserters in the camp. In this way, they were all killed by Harold's order. They should have been punished by the court. But they were directly killed. Harold yelled at Freitag in the distance to kill the surviving soldiers. He looked at the surviving deserters. Freitag couldn't do it. But Freitag can't refuse Harold's command. He can only execute. Hansen, the guard of the camp also reported Harold's behavior to his superheroes. No one can stand such darkness. And there's nothing he can do. Afterwards, they also celebrated. They identified the captain sent by the Führer. They began to dance, celebrating Captain Harold's decisiveness and determination. People in the camp scuffled together. When Harold went out, he saw the men he collected on his way, beating up deserters held in the camp. Junker advised Harold to take care of his soldiers. Harold watched the soldiers 
disobey his orders, he decisively killed the soldiers in front of him. Then he tied up a standing row of soldiers, picked up the gun, aimed at these people like his past. Then he gave the gun to two other soldiers, let them aim at their teammates who used to walk together, watching the people in front fall down one by one. In his eyes, these people have become worthless. Everyone listens to his orders, so the uniform slowly grew in his heart. But what scares the soldiers is the real uniform on him. And how long can he cheat? Pay attention to the present scene. With a shelling, the house was torn to pieces. The bomber dropped shells. And he came out of the ruins. Picked up his hat. Put on his coat. This dress is even more important than his life. Right out looked at the ruins in front of him. People keep crawling out. Harold continues to pretend to be captain. Harold promoted his men. He took his team to the city. They did a lot of bad things. Pretend to have the furious orders and punish others. Seize the property of passing civilians. Enjoy wine and beauty here. Life in the best house. And his men also listened to his orders. Captain Harold also set up a temporary court. If someone doesn't listen to Harold's orders, Harold has his men shoot him on the street. He was surrounded. He forgot his former identity. Life in the captain's uniform. However, lies will always be discovered one day. The gendarmerie surrounded this place. He hurriedly swallowed his soldier's cart. The gendarmerie pulled out his papers. They found out that Harold was just an ordinary soldier. In court, he is on trial. Wear a captain's uniform without permission. Kill deserters held in the camp without authorization. And Harold is still complaining. Harold said he had everything to stop those losers from escaping on the battlefield. In order to save the defeat, while the officers on the site appreciated his practice. Think of him as a valuable talent. Want to promote him. Let him go to the battlefield to kill the enemy. But he sneaked out. Harold looked at the bones all over the ground. He disappeared into the forest. After the final defeat, he was captured with six of his soldiers. He was tried for his crimes. They were finally shot together. He was only 21 years old at that time. And at the end of the film, they drive in the streets of modern times. It is also a search of people in the past again and again. The film is based on the true story of the time. And for the episode at the end of the director's film, what do you think the director thinks?